Okay, it's telling me I've got 95 to the center of the green. This is a blue flag, which means it's in the back, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going right to the middle of the green. I'm going to take this off of GPS mode to save my battery, and I've got a 54 in hand. Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game. This video is going to be a review of an app on my smartphone called The Grint. G-R-I-N-T. So you can go and download this for free, and I believe there's a premium version in which you can pay. I think it's $39.99 per year. Uh, the premium upgrade gives you all these additional features if you're if you're more serious about your game. But this free version uh, gives you the scorecard. You can mark if you hit the fairway or not. It should give me my greens and regulation, how many putts I had. Uh, it gives you yardages to the center of the fairway, center of the green. Uh, hazards, things like that. I mean, it's it's pretty standard, but I just want to check its accuracy today. So I'm on this par three. One thing I noticed right away is that the yardages are incorrect. I had to mark that I was actually playing the blue tees uh, on this app because the blue tees on the app match up with the white tees that I'm actually playing out here. So I marked myself as playing from the blues, even though you'll see me teeing off from the whites. Uh, it's telling me that from where I'm standing, I've got 174 yards to the center. This is a center flag, uh, but I am about four to five yards ahead of this, so I'm guessing it's going to be about 170. It's a little dewy, and it's early in the morning out here, so I'm thinking it's probably going to play about 175. I've got a six iron in hand. Let's see how it goes. Well, it was hit really well, and it's right at it. I think I'm a little short of that bunker, so it makes me wonder, uh, is the Grint yardage off? Or maybe am I just cold this morning and I'm asking a little bit too much of my clubs? I'm gonna go with, I think I was a little bit short because I underclubbed it. This early in the morning, being as wet as it is, all carry, I probably should have hit a little bit more club. One more stick. All right, so I was on this par three. Uh, you go in here, and you can see I've got hole two. I'm gonna click add score. It's a par three. Um, I only had one putt, and I had a score of four. Now, the reason that I had that, let's see, the T accuracy, I'm going to mark it as short. Uh, not in greenside bunker, not OB or anything like that, so I can just hit enter. And then I'm going to go up here and pick hole three. It'll take me to the next par four. Then I can turn GPS off to save my battery. Now, I had a four there. <laughs> even though I was only a little bit short of the green because I was behind this bunker and I had to stop it short and I ended up blading it past the green with my chip shot. The comebacker, however, it hit the flag and bounced out and stopped about two feet away from the flag. So I almost holed out for my par from the other side after hitting a miserable shot and I made my, my bogey. I tapped in my two footer. The green is obviously not going to help me <laughs> improve my game, but so far it's showing me correctly a five on the first hole, a four on the second hole, plus one, and uh, you can adjust your handicaps. This thing will track your USGA handicap. All It uses the same exact uh, models and algorithms and everything needed to do that. So, uh, so far, so good. And the yardages, I feel like, have been pretty accurate, but it's only hole two. Let's not get too excited. So this is telling me I still have 250 to the center, which is probably pretty accurate. I didn't hit the best tee shot there, um, so being as 250, there's no way I'm getting there. Instead of trying to play some long club and get up close, uh, I'm just going to hit a 7-iron and and, um, and try and get it up there to a place where I can kind of control uh, a wedge. Okay, so... Here's a good test. I was 255 out back there. I hit a 7-iron. I normally hit that about 160. I would say that was probably fairly close to that. That should have left me probably in the neighborhood of 90 to 100 yards, I would say. And this is telling me I've got 120 to the center. Now, I know that angles angles play a, uh, a big role in you know what your distances are. It's not always just so simple as taking the distance you had to the hole and subtracting it. Um, so, But this one seems like... I don't know, did I hit that really that short? Or is the yardage off here? This is a utility wedge for me. Let's see if I can get all over this flag stick. Man, 
man, if it wasn't for short game, I'd have no game at all. All right, so I'm going to kind of walk you through it here. I made a bogey on that hole, so I'm going up here, and I'm going to click Add Score. And then all you got to do is look over here at Score. There's a plus or minus button. and hit plus. I only had one putt, so I'm going to hit minus. They hit the fairway. No, I was right of the fairway. I didn't have any out of bounds or penalty strokes or anything like that. So then I hit enter. And then I can tap the GPS, go back to where I am on this hole. And then up the top, I can click next hole. And of course, it's out of position right now. But once I get up here, you'll be able to see, you know, how this GPS works. All right, we're going back to the GPS. So it's saying I've got 153 to the center, and this flag is in the center. So I'm going to trust that. And uh, I'm going to take a little bit extra club here because, you know, I just want to make sure I get it there. Off to the right. Again, if it wasn't for my short game, <laughs> I would have no game at all. That has saved my butt so many times. If you guys have not gone and watched my pitching video, I think I called it uh, on the thumbnail, the easiest pitch in golf, and it's uh, how, to, how to pitch the ball simply, I believe is the title of it. You guys need to go check that out because that technique, it, it's the one constant in my game that I can rely on. All right, so here's where I feel the Grint and GPS apps like it, and even a GPS device, may have a bit of an advantage over a laser rangefinder. Sometimes when I'm shooting a target out in the distance that is, say, close to 200 yards, maybe a little more than 200 yards, or just inside of 200 yards, and there's a backdrop behind it of trees and different objects, sometimes you wonder if you're locking onto the correct target. I'm sitting in the fairway here, and I've got an elevated green, and I'm showing from where I'm standing to the center of the green is 175. Now, if I were to shoot that with my laser, sure, I could use the slope feature if I'm not in tournament play, and that would be okay. Sometimes you have to have pretty steady hands, especially with the, the, the budget range finders that I use. I'm not paying all that money for those expensive range finders. That's just crazy. Okay, so that's decently struck. That's decently struck, and I can tell from back here that it's a little bit short. Um, just a lower ball flight. Need something to really get up high and carry a long way because when you're hitting into a hill like that landed on the hill, I wouldn't be surprised if it came backwards. All right, so we'll go in here and we're going to add score. I made my par on that hole. I chipped up to within about three feet. Made that. Um, so I'm going to take it down to one putt. I did hit the fairway. So I'm hitting that. And I hit enter. And then I go yardage to the next hole. Uh, skip to the next hole, and it's going to be a par 5. So far, I really enjoy the app. And I would say that it's been pretty accurate on its yardages, and it claims to have every golf course in the world, which, you know, most of the apps, the GPS apps and things like that, they talk about, oh, it's got 25,000 preloaded courses or 30,000 preloaded courses. This one is a little bit different in the sense that it claims to have every golf course in the world. I mean, that that's a pretty bold claim. That's a pretty bold claim. But I would say that so far I'm enjoying it. Now, as far as the premium, would it be a serious upgrade? I don't know. I haven't tried it. I don't intend to try it. I'm not going to pay for an app. Uh, I'm just I'm a cheap, cheap dude. Okay guys, round's over. Time to wrap this up and tell you what I think of the Grint app. It's available on Android and iPhone, I believe. 
Uh, I have an Android phone. So this is what it looks like after I've, I've turned in my round and uh, I've submitted my score. You can take a picture of your scorecard if you want to. You can upload that uh, or you can just go through and complete your round. Some of the controls I'll say are a little bit confusing. It took me a little while to find uh, the area that I needed to go to to say, hey, my round is complete. I want to turn in my score. At the end, it really did not prompt me at the end of 18 holes and say, hey, are you done? Uh, would you like to submit this round? Which I thought it would do. I thought it would be intuitive in that way, but I, it actually just tried to take me around to the first hole again. So I had to find my way through that. It took a little bit of doing, but it wasn't a big deal. Uh, you can see down here it posted my score. It uh, shows how many putts, how many greens of regulation, how many fairways that I hit. That greens of regulation number, that's pretty, uh, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great. Um, but to be fair, some of the greens I just barely missed today. But still, I would say that I would probably be at about 30% of the greens. And again, that's just not wonderful. But that's the kind of stuff you need to know. That's the kind of stuff you need to know because your feelings when you leave the golf course, they're not, they're, they're going to lie to you. The stats won't lie. And that's the kind of information we need. That's the kind of truth we need. You know, it's like a Gordon Ramsay or a Simon Cowell or a Jillian Michaels. It's not there to be your buddy. It's there to give it to you straight. And that's what stats do. So I think it's important to look at things like this and to see it. So you can upload these. It'll track it. It'll, it'll keep up with your handicap. But these stats right here, these four stats, that's what I always keep on my scorecard anyway. So I'm, I'm glad to get those stats. And this will keep a record of it for me. Rather than me have to just keep a stack of cards and do my own math, this will essentially do all of that for me and, and be a reality check. It's going to hold a mirror up to my face and say, hey, you don't hit many greens, dude. You go ahead and start hitting some greens if you want this number over here to come down. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Go give the grant a try. Download it. It's free. You can step up. And as I said, you can pay the $39.99 a year for the, the pro features and all of that. But the free version, it, it, for most of us out there, it's all we need. I think it's a, a great little app. And uh, you should go download it and give it a shot. If you don't like it, you can always delete it and uninstall it from your phone. But I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. Thanks for watching Golf Test Dummy. We're closing in on 2,000 subscribers in under two years. I, that, I, I could not be more grateful to everybody who has hit the subscribe button and clicked the bell and all the comments and thumbs up and just positive vibes you guys give me. I appreciate it so much. And uh, when we hit 2,000, it, it's going to be a really happy day for me. I know that you know a lot of people say, why are you worried about how many subscribers you have? Uh, it, it's just a milestone. It's a benchmark. It's a way to measure yourself, just like a golf score. So to me, uh, the fact that that many of you out there care enough to follow this channel and, and watch along with me and, and what I'm doing out here, it just means everything to me. I, I can't tell you how appreciative I am. So let's keep going. Let's, let's see how far we can get down the road. I've got to get my scores dropping and uh, hopefully the grit. <laughs> <laughs> will help me get there. See you guys next time.